everyone at Daily Mix, I'm Yasmin and I'm 15 years old and today I'm a bit nervous but I'm filming a little bit of beauty haul for you to, uh, as an entry for the beauty boot camp. And I've just got some things that I've bought over the past few months and I'm just going to give like a brief review on them and whether I like them and if I'd recommend them. Um, I'm sorry about my state of me today and the state of my bedroom, but I need to do it because the deadline is soon. So, the first thing I've got is this Avon Mega Effects Mascara, which I actually got for Christmas. And I wanted this for a while because it's not like a normal mascara. It's strange. I don't know if I like it. It comes in like this little package like this, and you just open it up. And then, you, I know what you're thinking, you're like, what the hell is that? Um, basically, it's just the wand, like this. And it's like, just a regular wand, and basically it's like a comb. So you like go. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this, I think it's good, but I've never been a huge fan on the Avon Mascara's formulas, so it's okay. Uh, my fringe has gone dodgy. Um, but I do like it and I think it was £10 and as I was saying I got it for Christmas and it is good but it's quite tricky to use and you have to try and get used to it because it's quite hard. Um, the next thing is something that I actually did not have in my collection until a couple of weeks ago which is actually quite bad. It is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now everyone and their dog has this powder. Well maybe not the dog but everyone and their mum everyone literally i can't even oh i'm just rambling on now because that's what i do i'm sorry um but yeah they all have this pressed powder and i got it in transparent and i've got it upside down <laughs> and basically i haven't used this yet because i'm in the middle of using up the last of my other powder which is a l'oreal one and I'm really excited to try this because I want to see if I think it's worth the rave because everyone is just like, oh my god, I love this powder. And it's like, eh, I don't know. But it's there waiting for me when it runs out. So please don't feel like you have to pick me because I'm a bit of a freak. So. And then next we have this mascara which everyone has bought. Again, everyone and their dog has bought. It is the new L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Manga Mascara. I picked this up because the like advertisement for it was amazing. Like everywhere I went, there was like things saying Miss Manga Mascara. Get it now for manga t manga lashes and stuff. And I was just like, ooh, that's cool. And I got it, and I have to say, I'm a bit disappointed. It's like this tapered brush so you can get to like your lashes and it like kind of bends. I don't know if I can show you. It's a bit creepy actually. I'm a bit scared that it's going to snap. But yeah, that's what it does. Um, it's not the best mascara I've ever used. I think it's like eight, nine pounds, which I personally wouldn't pay if I'm honest because it's not the best mascara I've ever used. I find it's just a bit too clumpy and... Mm, don't really give you a manga effect, it's not the best, so. Um, then, I've got a story about this. I went to Next with my mum, and she, I was pretty bored, because we were just wandering around, and I'm not really into the clothes in Next. And then, I got to the back of the building, and I was like, I felt like I was going to pass out, I was like, oh my god. And my mum was like, what's wrong? And I was just like... There's a NYX counter, and literally, I could have died. I'm getting off. Oh, I don't know. I've just wanted NYX for so long. I've been debating whether or not to pay a fortune for it on, like, American websites and stuff. But I didn't. I'm glad I didn't, because now I can go to NYX and get them. And I was there for absolutely ages. My mum was, like, getting so wound up with me because I didn't know, didn't know what to get. It was so hard. But I've got two things that I got and I just dropped one of them. And 
the first one is one that I think everybody owns and it's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in milk. It's just white, a white matte I think, white matte thing and it was £5 which I think is good because you get a lot of product and you can sharpen it. And the thing I like about NYX products is it's cruelty free. I like things like that because I'm a vegetarian and I don't like cruel people to animals. But yeah, I really like this. It works nice as a base under your eyeshadow to make it pop. And it's good for doing like crazy makeup looks. Like when I do my crazy looks on people, I can use it underneath like a vibrant colour and it'll make it just like so bright. It's like hurts your eyes. But yeah, I really like this and I wouldn't mind picking up some more. And then the next thing I got from NYX was an extreme lip cream and I got this in nude peach fuzz and I do like this it's like it's a bit like the collection 2000 cream puffs and it's just like a doe foot applicator and you go like mm. and it is nice I'm not really into nude lipsticks or lip colors because I'm more of a bright lips person as you can probably tell um, but I do like it, the formula's good and it's really like pigmented and long lasting and it doesn't feel heavy on the lips and it's really nice actually. This was £7 and I would recommend these. Maybe next time I buy it I'll get it in a brighter colour that I'll actually wear more often. That would be a good idea. So that was just my little beauty haul and I feel like I've bored everyone. <laughs> I feel like I've just droned on but yeah it says to also say at the end of the video why I think I should be on this competition basically I found this quite hard but I think I should be on the competition because I'm different I'm quite quirky and unique I'm not like your regular 15 year old um I know a lot about makeup so I'm I'm kind of I'm not going to turn up and not know how to use something like I can do other people's makeup because I do people's makeup sometimes. Um, I really love stuff like beauty and my dream job when I'm older is to be a makeup artist and I have got a YouTube channel but it's not really kicked off because I've been really busy lately and I haven't had time to film and I've hardly got any subscribers but I would love that. Um, so I'd really love to be on this competition because I think it would just give me a boost for my future and I'm jangling and um, yeah it would mean a lot because I love daily mix and I'd just love to be on this beauty bootcamp thing I mean even just getting onto it not even getting through just being on your YouTube channel like my audition would be amazing I'm probably sounding really creepy now but I love Pixie Woo and I love Tanya Burr and I love all of the Daily Mix people. I just want to be one of you. Okay, so I'm going to stop now before I start crying. Um, so I hope I'll see you all soon, Daily Mix viewers, because hopefully they might pick me. Um, I sound so vain, but yes, I would very much like to be picked. I'm going to shut up now because I have been filming for way too long and... Yeah, thank you for watching and I love you Daily Mix people. Bye!